Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our daily card reading for April 30th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on. Hopefully we're doing some immense growth, immense growth. I want to offer this, you know, during, ah, hi, okay. During 2020, I've heard so many people who are kind of very in that surface level and the very 3D um, energy, which is not a bad thing, but it could be better. Okay, <laughs> we could do better, right? But they're in that 3D uh, space and they're saying, um, you know, 2020, it just wasted a whole year of our lives. Huh? Uh, wait, waste. Oh no, honey. That was the thing that came in and bopped you on the head and said, wake up, <laughs> wake up. What do you need to change? What do you need to shift? Now, if I take all your toys away from you and I say, you have to sit here and make the most of it. You have to be kind to your fellow human beings. You got to figure it out because people are hoarding things. <laughs> what you going to do now? You know, <laughs> this has helped you not only be resourceful, but I don't know about y'all out there. Share in the comments below. Not for complaining. It's not for criticism. It's not for judgment. That's not what the comments are for. We don't house that kind of stuff in these comments. But sharing, yes. Okay. What did you learn from 2020? Not just about being resourceful. What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about where you want to go from here? Did you learn that materialism, although you can have nice things. Listen, I love beautiful things. I do, I do, I do. But they don't have to be expensive. I don't care. <laughs> like it, just, it needs to be beautiful to me. I want to feel, um, you know, an upliftment when I see it or it feels cozy or comfortable or whatever. It doesn't have to be grandiose right? But if you think that your life has to be filled with material things that are grandiose, that are just over the top, mine's bigger and better than yours. Did 2020 teach you like just to be grateful for what you already have? And did you shift your mindset to, I just want, you know, something where I could be happy and it's beautiful and safe and clean. There's the garbage guy again. He's our buddy, as I said yesterday. Okay, <laughs> so are, are you, you know, learning to appreciate that and to appreciate a simpler life? And did you move away from maybe even making a career choice that would have, you know, made you money, but you hate your job? You end up, well, okay, here you go. Think about how many high-level executives end up doing really unscrupulous things. Think about this. I've, I used to work as an executive, a senior level executive assistant. And so I was working with CEOs all over the place, especially in New York City. I worked for the president of a company in LA as well. He was fine. He didn't do anything. But <laughs> over here in New York, whoa, hot mess nation over there. Yes. I mean, you got people all over the place who just, they, they almost like lose their humanity because it's all about proving their worth, proving their worth, getting the money, getting the power, maintaining the power. And they say, I'm stressed. So I'm going to use people. I'm going to manipulate. I'm going to throw my power, you know, whatever. Okay. And are any of them happy? I don't know. Maybe some of them are, but I would guess that they're not kind of in their cozy place. I would guess that they're not in touch with their souls. If they are, call me because I need to interview you. If you're a CEO and you're in touch with your soul, I want to know you. Absolutely, because <laughs> you're a shining example. Darling, we got to put you out there. All right, but you see what I'm saying here? So like, have you learned that in 2020? This is a big thing for you to contemplate today. This card sticking out. Hi, here we go. Clear sentience or clear sentience. I don't say that, I say sentience. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm basic or something. Archangel Raguel, R-A-G-U-E-L. Raguel is all about, say it with me now, Harmony. Oh, you notice a lot, a lot of the archangels are all about peace and harmony, right? Because they're all part of, we're all part of one soul. Hi. But Raguel, if you want to break it down, is all about playing nice with others, <laughs> getting along with each other. But on a, on a deeper level, it's really understanding what a soul came into your life to teach you and what you might be teaching them. Okay. And how can we be more harmonious with one another? Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So there is, you know, something that's not sitting well with you. Listen to that. Or if you feel like, yeah, I feel like this could be a really great relationship, or I feel like I want to go in this direction with my life, or I feel like I want to show up. Maybe, yeah, they're saying for some of you, it might be undefined. You know, you want to, you know, help in some way. 
you want to be there for people, but you don't know what that looks like exactly. Put it out to the universe or pay attention to the messages that are coming through your body. Yes. And that will help you figure out what direction you want to go in. And don't be afraid to try something. If you decide it's not for you, it's not for you. It's fine. <laughs> right? You can always adjust. So don't, what, I, what we're getting at here is don't allow fear of commit, uh, commitment to a thing or committing to a career or a way of life hold you back from trying it. That's a big message for some of you out there because you might actually, again, this is not everybody's story, but if you at least try it and say, this isn't for me, then at least you have a firm foundation for making a decision to go in a different direction. You don't want to get to a place in your life where you're like, I wonder what would have happened if I did this, this, and this. Some of you need to take a chance. Again, pay attention to the messages that are coming through for you. Yes. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Thank you.